What up, everybody? It's Uncle Chrissy. Happy Friday. Uh, real quick, thank y'all for joining me today, checking us out. I got a couple quick release notes for you, and then we will uh, get on about our weekend. Um, first off, real quick, we got a couple teasers yesterday of some high heat collabs. We got the Hamamon Year Forge, and we had the Union Field Generals. Um, I'm not going to get into these too much in depth, but please let me know down in the comments what you think about these. Um, they're a little bit out there they're not personally my cup of tea and we're going to dive into these in much more detail on the next episode of the drop shop i got my homie Haas from my first kicks podcast joining me we're likely lining that date up next week uh, but stay tuned make sure you tap in and drop a sub so that you know when that episode is coming up uh second off the eyeshad wear max um eyeshad's second sb silhouette of his own dropped today um cool looking pair you can definitely see the early 90s air max influence on it i just want to say one thoughtless rant. Whoever decided to not officially call these the Wear Max should be fired immediately. Like, who whose idea was that? They're thinking they got this Air Max inspired sneaker. It's definitely not your typical skate shoe. It's definitely more of a runner. Um, you can see the influence there. His name lends perfectly to Air Max Eyeshot Wear, Air Max. Wear Max. I don't know who decided that that was not going to happen, but they should be fired and at least made to do 50 years of hard labor. Um, uh, but let's get into the release list that we got for today. We have the Soul Goods Airship. Um, the PE is coming out tomorrow, January 20th on Soul Goods website. I don't quite have the exact time. It is an overseas website, so you might have to stay up all hours um, try to figure out when that it's exactly going to drop. It'll probably be a relatively hard cop. I think stock is relatively thin on these, and I do not believe that we are going to see a sneakers release on these. I don't see them loading up on the app. This will probably be a limited uh, NVHD type of release. We've already seen some random boutiques load them up out of nowhere and drop. Undefeated, Sneaker Politics, both dropped on them already. There's a handful of raffles that are up, so... Click on this video, go to the description down below. I'm going to give you a link to all the raffles that are currently open. You can click on that, enter in whatever ones that you want to get. But uh, it's a really cool looking pair. I'm kind of on the fence with it myself. I still haven't uh, bought anything in 2024, so I don't know if this is going to be the one for me. The brown suede towards the rear of the shoe looks absolutely pristine. It looks gorgeous. It looks high end. It's got that velvety chocolatey kind of color to it. Um, the soft gray suede around the toe box, the gray mesh on the uh, toe. A lot of people say they don't like the mesh. I personally don't mind it. Um, you don't have to worry about creasing. It's a little more breathable. I just don't know that that color gray works well with that deep, dark, chocolatey brown. Um, I don't know. It's going to be a game time decision for me. I haven't entered any raffles yet. Uh, I'll see if I will. Let me know what you guys think. And also, this shoe is technically called a PE. You'll see that it's got the number five on the back right at the heel. And I heard um, I heard a story. Shout out to 22 Wild for bringing this to our attention. But apparently, this ties back to a movie from the 50s that had something to do with the main character of the movie being a basketball player and a whole bunch of drama that went along with it. Um, check out his YouTube, Tony Two Wild. He's got the whole story up there. But um, shout out again for that that little tidbit. And I was I was wondering where the PE came from. Apparently, the PE also relates to the cut of the shoe. The sole's a little bit different from the standard airship. So there you go. Let me know what y'all think of this one. The airship, like I said, it's, it's nice. It really is nice. Um, but it's also one of those shoes where like the depending on the lighting of the picture, it can look a lot of different ways. The pictures that I released a couple days ago uh, that I posted up on the short are really nice, but then the pictures that Undefeated had loaded up really don't do that pair justice. So like I said, you have the So Good site dropping sometime in the next 24 hours. Note the time change, try to figure it out. If you do, let me know, I'll get it out to everybody. And then you got a good deal of US sites that are doing raffles. Check the description down below. I have a link for you with all the raffles and when they're going live, expiring, etc., and so forth. Um, after that, we are going to talk about the AJ3, the Pale Ivory. Super clean shoe. Uh, super clean, super clean, super clean. You got that oxidized kind of yellowing on the heel tab and on the sole. You have the elephant print going around the toe and on the heel. It's a little bit lighter than the elephant print we saw on the uh, white cement threes. Elephant print, cement print, I don't really know where to go with those. Um, but this is going to be a big full on GR release. We're going to see these loaded up everywhere. We'll see these on the sneakers app. Your major retailers, all the usual suspects will have these. And there's a decent amount of stock on these. There's decent. Um, it's not anything huge. It's not anything major in comparison to what we've been seeing from Nike over the course of the past six months. You look at the UNC toe had, I think, 400K. Um, the Reimagined Royals had six or 700K. This shoe currently has 119,000 
loaded up for a sneakers drop. Now, obviously that can change uh, between now and the February 3rd release date, but that's what's currently going on with this shoe. Um, like I said, it's super clean. If you struck out on the white cements, this could be a good transition for you. The best part about this shoe, the best feature is the hybrid heel tab. Uh, when it comes to heel tabs on the Jordan 3s, I gotta have that Nike Air. I gotta have that Nike Air. I can't really get down with the with the jump man on the threes and fours. Um, I actually got a pair of Topaz fours, and I actually hate it. I've debated on having a customizer, you know, send them send them to them, and hopefully I can get a Nike Air tag on the back. But the hybrid tag, you see the embossed uh, jump man on the back, and then overlay with the uh, Nike Air. It's beautiful. It's a really nice touch. It's a great way to blend both worlds together. And like I said, it's a clean shoe. It's simple. It's easy to wear. It's got a little bit of that vintage vibe, which is definitely the movement right now. Um, and it's cool. It's cool to see. So definitely give that shoe a check out. Um, like I said, 119,000 pairs going to be dropping on February 3rd. I haven't heard anything about special releases, um, but you know, if anything does happen, I'll be the one to let you know about it. Uh, lastly, I, I almost forgot about this. I would be remiss if I didn't touch on this at least real quick. So, so this Louis Vuitton Timberland collab that, collab that Pharrell put out. I'm just going to say like Louis Vuitton is not me. Like that's not my thing. It's way out of my price range. Timberlands, yeah, I got a pair for kicking around the snow, but that's about it. I was never really into the whole, uh, you know, the butter yellow Tims that everybody wore where I grew up. But this Louis Vuitton collab is, is, is kind of fire. It's kind of dope. It's kind of the best of both worlds. You got the, the super duper premium Louis Vuitton, and then you got the street the street kickers right down there. The, the boots, they're beautiful. Um, some of them have it on the outside. Some of them have the print on the inside. There's, I think, like six or seven different silhouettes that are floating around. But uh, shout out to Pharrell, Louis v, Louis v, and Tim for putting this together. Like I said, this ain't for me. It's, it's definitely way out of my price range. But but this is fire. This is pretty cool to see the way the two worlds kind of come together uh, to make this collection happen. Um, so that's about it for today. So like I said, we got the airship shopping tomorrow. Check the description for our list of the raffles. February 3rd, we got the Jordan 3s coming up with 119,000 pairs. And then stay tuned. I'm going to have an announcement on the next episode of The Drop Shop where we're going to talk about who are some of the best collaborators in the game today, who still got it, who might have fallen off, why they fell off, where they're going, what's the direction on things. And uh, there we go. That's going to be it. So until next week, Uncle Christy saying, I hope you all have a good weekend. Everybody be safe. Peace.